Altogether, uh, the New York City Fire Department has about 17,000 employees. Sen since 1865, since uh, we were established as a, as a paid department, uh, the mission has changed over the years, but essentially it is protecting life and property uh, throughout New York City. When people need help in New York City uh, and they call the fire department, we go there to help. And sometimes it's a fire, sometimes it's a medical emergency, and uh, everything in between. The cancer rate uh, throughout the fire service has gotten to the point that it, it's unacceptable. On September 11th, 2001, we lost 343 uh, firefighters and EMTs that day. Um, since then, we've had over 380 uh, people pass away from what we call World Trade Center illness. On the firefighter side, we have a, an emphasis on, on cleaning their gear. Uh, so everybody has the opportunity to send their gear out uh, to, to be uh, decontaminated, to be cleaned and laundered. Uh, we are in the process of working with our vendors to increase our capacity and, and, and make that mandatory. And we are also having an enforcement of uh, wearing our SCBA longer, the, the self-contained breathing apparatus uh, that gives us that protection, that respiratory protection, uh, encouraging it to be worn longer at the fire scene. We do believe that, that the younger generation understands it, gets it. Uh, the older generation does too. They're modeling that, that behavior, uh, and that's, uh, that's the big thing. That is our main goal uh, when you come into work especially as an officer, as a chief officer in particular, your, your mission is to make sure everyone goes home at the end of the day. Going back to 2001, our Bureau of Fire Investigation started to see an increase in the number of fires that were started by uh, what we called portable mobility device batteries. Uh, for e-bikes, for scooters, uh, and these were lithium-ion batteries. Because of the technology, the energy capacity of these batteries, when it's unstable, that same energy can lead to a very, very uncontrolled uh, fire, toxic gases, smoke, that can be an extreme danger. So the, the FDNY really has instituted uh, a multi-layered, um, really collaborative approach to safety campaign. Perfect example is our uh, e-safety task force. They have done many, many inspections uh, to make sure that particularly e-bike stores are in compliance uh, with the fire code. Um, the departments have done thousands of presentations, uh, really spreading the word about safe um, e-bike you know, e uh, use, charging, storage, all those particular things. So our uh, fire commissioner has made many, many trips, you've probably seen her speak at both the state level and the, and the national level, um, engaging with both houses of Congress to have legislation passed to regulate uh, lithium-ion battery. The solutions actually have begun to show um, uh, success already in terms of life safety. And I think it really shows the value of the program that people are becoming aware and then more importantly taking action to ensure you know their own safety. From the newest drone technology to our incident command app which allows chiefs to track members at a fire scene, get building information, even display the drone footage through cell phone to chief officers that aren't on the scene. We've used technology in, in a lot of ways to uh, improve uh, how we operate. So the Incident Command app was, was basically built in-house. It gives us maps of the street, it gives us maps of the hydrants, and then it provides all of that information on the companies assigned, the members operating, where they're operating. It allows us to do roll calls, uh, we added the robotics slash command tactical uh, back in 2017. Over the last couple of years, we added the dogs to that mix for, again, operations like a collapse where, all right, this is a little bit too dangerous for us to send members in, but we can remotely operate this dog, you know, with full screen so everyone can actually see it. 
and, and make searches through areas that, that would be inaccessible to the members at the time. So as the technology is involved, it's allowed us to do more, it's allowed us to save lives, you know, it's allowed us to operate uh, more safely. We don't succeed without a great team behind us. We have uh, great people in all ranks, uh, great people coming up, so we have uh, great support uh, and able to, uh, to do our job and succeed. And, continue to protect life and property throughout New York City. 2025 will be 160 years for the FDNY. So as we move into the future, uh, I think it's important that we continue to, to lead from the front, uh, be aware of the changes in technology, uh, adapting our operations, our tactics uh, to protect our people as we move forward and face these new challenges.